<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday's It Matters Radio Top 10 Weekly Countdown. Uh, you may have noticed that we are doing this every Monday evening. And I also ask you, if you know of performers that you would like to see on the show, send us their information. You can find us on Facebook. You can go to our website, itmattersradio.com. Um, you you can find us almost everywhere. Just Google It Matters Radio and send us information on them and we'll see if we like it and if it can make our top 10. You never know. Uh, I want to give another shout out to uh, Radio Indie Alliance because they are a group that help radio stations all over the world get music out. They introduce us to artists as do all the promoters and I, I, without them we couldn't bring you shows without the artists sending us music we couldn't bring you shows okay the first person i'm going to introduce to you right now is a lady who is so so hot there she is right there her name is downy strahill and she's been singing in front of audiences since she was a small small girl she began her formal vocal training as a young teenager, performing classical, pop, and jazz music. And whether in the recording studio or live, she is a sensational vocalist with a wide range. And she's able to execute all genres of music with emotional depth and creativity. And that's a hard thing to do, to hit all genres but this lady has what it takes to do it punky is with me as you can see her tail going by <laughs> and hair flying all over anyway uh stray hills albums and music have been played internationally around the globe and she has won awards i tell you this lady she's gained critical acclaim with her, her performances in places uh, as varied as tokyo japan and on stage in las vegas beside the Grammy award-winning singer Crystal Gale. Mm. I could go on and on about Downey, but I think it's time that we listen to a little bit of her music. And this is a song that is called Unavailable by Downey Strail. <laughs>
about a song that many young women or maybe even older women can relate to where you have met someone who is absolutely unavailable. They're married, they're in a relationship, a long-term one, and they're hitting on you. And like she said, she wasted her time and she's moving on now. No more with that guy. <laughs> Okay, so that was Downey Strayhall with our number 10 pick, Unavailable. Uh, next, I want to introduce you to a gentleman. His name is Ray Ramon. There he is, Ray Ramon. Now, I just love it. The song we're going to play is called Turn It Up and Burn It Down. And this, that's the same name as the uh, EP that he has out also. Looks like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but he was born actually, and I don't know if I'm going to get this right because you know me with names, Ole Sigun Ashebola Ramon. And he was an independent Nigerian born Australian recording artisty and music producing. Okay. He studied electrical engineering at the University of Ibadan. Nigeria. Now, Ray Ramon's flair for music developed when he was six years of age as he performed in a school play, singing and dancing. Born into a Christian family, Ray recalls singing in his classroom while in high school. Urged by his peers who heard him singing, this led Ray to join his church choir, where he was the only young male singer. <laughs> Ten years later, Ray Ramon released a maxi single titled My Maker and Times, which were written and recorded on the Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia in 2007. He has been writing and recording ever since that time. So now I want us to take a listen to our number nine on the countdown tonight. It is a song that, as I said, is the title and it's called Turn It Up and burn it down. A drug is so relentless, she never gets a rest She greatly desires to be a disco queen Can't wait for Friday night just to tempt her to leave in the mall, cleaning all the mess A drug is so relentless, she never gets to rest She greatly desires to be a disco queen Can't wait for Friday night just to turn up the heat
tapping my feet that whole time. I wanted to get up and boogie. I just wanted to dance. And I think Punky did too. She was here the whole time with me. Hey, Ray Ramon, turn it up and burn it down. I can't wait to hear the rest of that EP. And I hope you guys will check it out too. We're going to move on now to our number eight song. And this is a band that is called Fusier. There they are. There's Fusier. So you can take a look at them. And they consist of Ian Black. He does guitar and vocals. Dave Marillo, drums and vocals. Dan Hart, bass. Steve Rickard, guitar and vocals. And Carl Mao, percussion. Wow. Fantastic. There they are there. Now, they first rocked the music scene in 2006, quite a while ago, with the release of their self-titled debut album, what else? Fusure. They have been creating music, recording, and releasing EPs ever since that time. Um, in fact, we had them on our show. We have featured shows around them. They're just fantastic. Now, just having come off the back of the President of the United States of America shows, Fusure are living the dream right now. They're writing, recording, and playing, and they're getting known. So good times are ahead by all. Here we go with a song from Fusure, and it is our number eight on the countdown called The Rules. <laughs> We go, you wanted to be 
Fisher. I love the the guitarist. They're do 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 do. I just love it. <laughs> well done. And that was number eight on our countdown this week. I'm gonna say something real fast. It doesn't matter what number. Uh, we have placed these artists in you know we can't put them all in number one or we would they the reason that they're here and you're listening to them with us today is because we think they're fabulous every one of them is fabulous so don't let a number <laughs> get in the way of seeing how fantastic each and every single artist is wow that was great Okay, uh, Judd Roberts is next. You ever hear of Judd Roberts? Well, you're gone to you right now because there he is, huh? Doesn't look like he's a rock singer or pop singer, or but you know what? <sighs> he's evocative and melodic. Judd Roberts' music makes you feel as though you've rediscovered a song you never knew. Not too many people can do that. Now, this emerging American artist lives in America's most famous small town, Woodstock, New York. Woodstock, if any of you remember back then. A musically supportive and socially vibrant place for many songwriters, past and present. Now, in Jude's sound, one can hear influences of English, Irish, and Appalachian folk music. How about that? for a change. Listening deeper though, you can find the impressions of Baroque and Romance era classical pieces and European folk pop. It's a unique amalgam of style and talent. Judd Roberts draws the listener inward and invites them to dive in deep. <laughs> Here we go with a song which made it to number seven on our countdown from Jude Roberts and it is called Summer Girls. She walked by, she turned all the boys' heads I was no different from the rest One look at her And in summer's crazy days, we would pass the lazy days, and at night she was my world. Everything for me was she, everyone but me could see, she was just a summer girl. upon me overnight Her brown eyes became my world Everything for me was she She was all that I could see And she was my summer
was fabulous um isn't his voice wonderful and the story's great i mean how many of us have had a summer romance that we wish would have lasted beyond the summer and you knew it wouldn't but you would always always remember that person and i think he just captured that beautifully very well done so i would you know keep an eye out for jude roberts the next band that I'm going to introduce you to is Joe Symes and The Loving Kind. Now, I think we've had them on before. In fact, we are going to be having an interview with them, uh, gosh, in a week or three, according to how the schedule goes, uh, as our guest interview. So I hope you catch that at 3 p.m. on Sundays. We have a guest interview every Sunday at 3 p.m share music talk to the musician the artist and it's lots of fun so there's joe symes and the loving kind you can see him on the left here there's actually three of them and here are some of the albums they've put out and we're going to concentrate on this one right here that is at the lower portion of the screen and uh, it's acu acoustic variations now, I'm going to tell you, since the release of their debut album, this band has embarked on a non-stop journey across the UK. I mean, they are performing in cities and towns, oh gosh, from London to Glasgow. Um, as of 2016, the band were asked to play Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds after show party. Once again at the O2 Academy Liverpool, as well as being featured on LFC TV, that's Liverpool Football Club's official TV station, Bay TV's Arts Alive show and Radio City Talk, and they've been on much more since that time, let me tell you. They've been on many interviews and uh, many shows on TV, and of course, and they're playing gigs all over the place. Now, later in the summer, they performed at festivals around the UK, like I was just saying. Um, and, um, gosh, anyway, from the farm, the icicle works, the Christians, and just fantastic. Now, I want to talk tonight to you about this EP, Acoustic Variations, because they have taken some new works and some older works, but they're doing them in an acoustic variation. Ah, thus the name of the EP. And this one we're going to introduce to you tonight. And it is called From Joe Signs and Love and Kind number six on our countdown tonight. You're not coming back tomorrow. Here you go. <laughs> Jesse, here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Tomorrow, you're 
You know, they have a sound that is all theirs, I have to say. And maybe it's me, but they remind me of like Glennon McCarthy. You know, for those of you, John Lennon, Paul McCarthy, it, it, it has that sound to it, but it also has a bit of their own in it. So uh, I just love it. It's different than you hear from many, many other bands. And that's why they made it to number six in our countdown tonight. Okay, moving right along. We are going to go to a band called the Loose Hounds. There they are, all of them. <laughs> don't know where they got this name. Hound dogs and they're loose? I don't know. <laughs> and um, they had a really marked success in the 90s, which included winning a Melody Maker competition and appearances at Clapham Common Festival, Glastonbury and many other top-line festivals. The Loose Hounds continue to work throughout the UK. Now, assistance from Vince Power resulted in a flurry. I mean, a great amount of gigs on the London scene, including the Mean Fiddler, the Borderline, Tin Pin Alley's 12 Bar Club, Half Moon, Putney among them. TV work followed, and European venues opened up to the bed. The venues heard them and they started booking them. Now, Loose Hounds were spotted by media heavyweights Mark Ellen and Bob Harris from Old Grey Whistle Test and Radio 2's Johnny Walker and Steve Lamont. Tracks have been used as soundtracks and the latest being a crime prevention documentary, The Gap. In more recent times, Loose Hounds have continued to perform in the UK and Europe. The band lineup has changed, but the music goes on evolving and meandering as the musical characteristics of the band members massage and explore melody and structure. So here we go with Outside the Pain, which is number five on our countdown this evening from The Loose Hounds. <laughs> I'd love to love you, baby Why do you cry? I want to kiss all your tears goodbye Say goodbye True 
me and you Outside the pain Inside the love Jazzy, rocky, bluesy melody. <laughs> and I think it was fabulous. That was a wonderful song from the Loose Hounds, Outside the Pain. Wow, check them out, I tell you. Moving right along. Um, this is someone called Lyric Doobie. I'm saying someone because there he is. Look how young this man is, this artist. And he's just beginning, but I fell in love with his music and I thought, man, we just have to share it with you. And it made it to number four on our countdown tonight. Now, Lyric Doobie is a multi-gender artist from Canada. Proficient and at ease playing rock, pop, blues and jazz his deep appreciation and experimentation with all the genres led lyric to personalize his own style of music known as revolution rock say it is gonna be okay anyway the lyric has opened for artists such as walk off the earth david usher wide mouth mason lee aaron toronto steve strongman and jim cootie or cutty excuse me a blue rodeo the lyric takes his guitar playing seriously and takes guitar lessons every single day before continuing with his studies because he's still doing his school studies. He is currently studying for his grade 8 RCM exams and loves to perform live. So here we go from, and I love this name, Lyric Doobie, a song that is called Nothing to Say. I bet he's got a lot to say. Sometimes I can sail Across the great divide I hold you in my arms And kiss the wind at ride but Then I open up my eyes Take a look around Flying out the door I'm rooted to the ground Baby 
I think that young man is going to go places. Listen to that voice. <laughs> Punky just me out. I don't know if you heard her or not. She likes this young man, doesn't she? She said, I think Lyric Doobie is just wonderful. And I hope you folks will check him out. So we're going to go to the top three right now. And this gentleman, wait till you see his picture. There he is. I know he looks angry, but folks, he's not an angry person. In fact, I don't have too much to say about him except some words from Seth Rowe himself. Listen to this. 21 days to recovery is the road back to self-discovery. There is no one to blame in the end. It was always up to me, and I knew it all along. Wow. These words are written by Salfo. And, <coughs> excuse me, what does Salfo stand for? I'm let you in a secret. It's for Stephen Anthony Frazier's recent observations. Huh? <laughs> Love the name. So there we come. Seth Rowe. His music speaks volumes. And as he states, if what I have been through helps even one person, mission accomplished. Wow. So he's doing this out of love and care for people. He wants to share his words and his music with you. So maybe one person might listen. And I think right now it's time for us to listen to Paper Tigers from Safro. <laughs>
See what I mean, folks? That is one creative artist, and he knows music well. Well, the way he changes um, the tone, the uh, infliction even of his words, it's just marvelous. And it's something new, and it's something we might not have had years ago. So that's Safro, the paper tiger. Check him out. Okay, that was number three. We're going to go to number two now. And this is a gentleman. His name is Keith Jennings. There he is. Crazy photo, isn't it? <laughs> but I love crazy photos. <laughs> it it kind of catches your eye. Now, Keith Jennings is a rare breed. He is an authentic native Southern Californian. How about that? Most people move to California or from California, but they are not natives. So <laughs> he grew up in and around the entertainment industry. His uncle Barry Richards charted a top 50 hit called Come Fill Your Cup again in 1974. Now, Keith's electric musical influences range from classic boys and heart to the monkeys. Remember the monkeys? <laughs> from Nick Kershaw right on through to Justin Bieber and other contemporary talents. Singer, writer, producer Bobby Hart of Boys and Heart, get the heart part, wrote and produced many of the monkeys' hits. Didn't know if you knew that or not, but they did. And doing the same for many other artists. In fact, he produced two songs on Keith's first album. How about that? Woo! Keith has studied acting and voice and appeared in a number of films and TV shows. He has sung at a variety of clubs in the L.A. area. Don't Lie, which is what we're going to be playing for you tonight, will be included on an upcoming album. <laughs> so you might, you're getting to hear this. And stay tuned for more from up-and-coming Keith Jennings. So right now, we bring you Don't Lie. Please don't lie. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to lie. <laughs> I wouldn't believe you if you said it again, but I'm wide awake to listen. It's all in your head. Don't tell me that you're scared, because you've been caught in the rain.
like how that ended with the keyboards at the end. Really great. I don't know if you notice on his t-shirt it says don't lie. So don't lie. <laughs> Doesn't do any good to anyway. Well, we're going to introduce you now to the number one song today. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see these guys. Um, I'm going to tell you, uh, this just came to me from out of nowhere. Um, I told you earlier, if you find somebody that's great, send them to us. That's exactly what happened here. And they made it to number one on our chart this week. And they are called Poets of the Fall. Poets of the Fall. Born and based in Helsinki, Finland, rock band Poets of the Fall formed in 2003 around core members Marco Seresto, he does lead vocals and guitar, Ali Tukianian, guitar, and if I'm, if I'm sorry if I'm messing your names up, uh, Marcus Captain, <laughs> Kolonen, keyboards and production. Now, having built its own studio, the band was able to release a single called Late Goodbye shortly thereafter. So by January 2005, the Poets had a number one album at home with their debut, Signs of Life. How about that? Mm. For its hard work, the band was rewarded with the Best Debut Album of the Year and Best Newcomer of the Year trophies at the following year's Emma Awards. Now that's a Finnish version of the Grammys, so it's huge. Well, since that time, the band continues to tour throughout the world and release new and exciting music. So we wanted to introduce you to Poets of the Fall with their latest song that is called Children of the Sun. And I think you're going to really enjoy this one. Here you go. Children of 
I think you know why that made number one. I don't think I have to say too much about that because it was outstanding. Simply, simply outstanding. I hope you enjoyed today's show. We do put these on YouTube under our playlist. And this, of course, is It Matters Radio Top 10 Countdown. And I hope that you'll send people there to take a look at it. And also to our live shows, which we broadcast almost every single day. I say that because once in a while we do have to, uh, some things are coming up. And I also want to let you know, we're going to be moving our studio pretty soon to California, of all places. And um, we might be in transit for a week or so, but uh, we're certainly going to be right back here after that. But that's not going to happen for a month or two or three. Who knows? But we'll keep you informed. Anyway, I hope you love the show. Punky says hello and sends her purrs to everybody. And as always, she says, please, please, please. She wants everybody to continue to keep on rocking. (laughs) 